Hi everybody, hope you're doing well. Today we're gonna to cover the prep to grow application. We're calling it Grow, and this is uh, our 1.0 release. We're extremely excited about moving to this platform from where we've been. Um, awfully excited about its capabilities, um, how you're all gonna use it, uh, the benefits you'll receive from it, and just make you more effective and better traders and easily and more quickly identify opportunities um, that fit your strategy or fits the prep to grow strategy. It will certainly at minimum save you a ton of time researching companies and really moves away from how traditional stock recommendation or operating recommendation platforms do this as well as other option scanning or scanner services that require you to do all the effort. Um, whereas for prep to grow, we really try to make you not think about how to trade or all the underlyings, just give you solid details on the company, and what they're all about, uh, their projected growth or decline and how you can leverage that as well as unusual activity with the company that may be a momentum play or where the smart money is going. So we're gonna cover some of this today, but again, extremely excited by it. The first thing you're gonna see or do as you come into this is really let us know what your preferences are. So what's your trading platform, how often you trade, which, how long do you typically hold trades, what's your risk level, and what's your cost per trade. So this allows us to personalize recommendations to you. So instead of us giving you some that are way outside your ballpark, uh, may cost too much, or you don't do options trading, you do only stock trading, or you only trade once a week versus 10 times a week or 10 times a day, this allows us to really narrow down the recommendations and um, the activity momentum plays that we find in the market. So fill this out and this will make it much more specific as well as the platform that you choose will allow us to individualize uh, the learning for you. So if you're new to this, it allows us to show you how to trade on a platform, how to sell on a platform, how to best optimize it and how to use our recommendations to make the most effective trades. So after you save your preferences, you'll come in and it'll be updated and you'll see the list of all your new recommendations. Uh, in this case, there's 56 uh, recommendations for me. I'm on the active trader. Uh, and these are the ones that are just meet the prep to grow strategy. So, you know, the ones ordered by most successful to least successful using the prep to grow strategy. And so if you look at um, them like Great Western Bank, I can drill into the first recommendation. It's stock, it's active, meaning it's an active trade. It's not something that's already been sold or inactive because it's pretty close to meeting its uh, targeted gains and not worthwhile something to trade on. Give you all the details. This is uh, stock prices that are 15 minute delayed so you can see um, where it's performing, how it's performing for the day. Also, prep to grow takes that information and constantly evaluates, is this a good trade? Uh, for the moment in time. And if it's not, we'll mark it inactive and you can move on to the next trade. It's also really important for traders that are on some of the subscription plans where you maybe get two to four a week. What this allows us to do is if you come in on a Tuesday, let's say, we'll give you recommendations that are specific to that moment in time that fits the market movement and the momentum, um, ones that have a best chance to succeed, so on and so forth. So we'll give you the ones that are for that moment when you log in. No longer gonna have to say, well, we sent them out on Monday or on Thursday, I didn't get till Friday and they're no longer good. That's no longer the case. When you come in, you get the ones that um, you're entitled to have that are really relevant for that moment. No, no delays, no, I missed it. It's again, specific to that moment. So we're excited about the real time uh, nature of that. The next is that everything you'll see is more information about the stocks and the company. So you'll have news, you'll be able to go over there and see that. Um, and just clicking on it will take you out to the news article. You have um, embedded charts around uh, stock performance so you can see where it is and think when's the time to buy this based upon our recommendation. As well as we give you uh, information about the company, you know, who it is, what's their current forecast, quarterly forecast look like, uh, and should you buy and telling you why you should buy it? What's the game? What's our success rate with it? So on and so forth. Also right here is where we let you know how many people have liked it 
or how many are in there tracking it or how many people have actually bought it. Um, so this is a good indication of just the, you know, the momentum our own subscriber sees with this. The last is around the learnings. Um, since I'm on the Robinhood platform, this will tell me how to buy and sell stocks using the Robinhood platform, as well as some other things about how to determine uh, my trading budget. So this is really, in a nutshell, everything that you'll see as part of a recommendation for prep to grow Pretty straightforward. Um, if you are an auto trader for us uh, and we have submitted this to be traded, this dollar icon will be lit up for you. So it'll be green saying it's been traded um, and you can track it. Um, it's also available for non-auto traders. Um, so people that just want to say, I want to buy this thing. This looks good. They'll click on the link and what will happen is when we click on the link, it turns green. And this sends off all the alerts and notifications for it. So you have to indicate you want to buy it uh, for us to do that. About in a week period of time, um, recommendation wise, we give about a thousand recommendations a week at all various levels. So this allows you to really pick which ones you want to track and buy and allows us to only send you the ones that are specific to what you want to buy and act on. So that turns on all the alerting when you click on uh, that dollar sign. So getting out of that, this is all my records for the days. I really like the first one, but the next is I really want to check the ones that I've bought. So if I go into the filters, I'm presented with a ton of filtering options. So what's the category? So I, I only want to look at the ones that I've bought. Um, I can filter by status, how many are active, sold or inactive. What's the types? What's the, the, the predicted gain? Um, so on and so forth. So a whole bunch of filtering and scanning options that you have. Um, in this first release, we don't allow you to save filters uh, to essentially a watch list, but that is a feature that will be coming in the very short term. So in essence, you can create a filter, save it, and then um, set up alerts related to that. That's it. So, but in this case, um, we're gonna take a look at the ones that we've uh, indicated we've already bought, uh, and I can see the status of that. Um, so we just selected we're gonna buy that one. There's Intel, I can look at the status of all of them, so a couple of cells. Um, we can also flip to this table view where we get a more concise view of it. So I can see three are active and five have already hit a cell. Um, so I'm gonna dig into, again, um, this FBK right here, which is First Bank. Um, and I can see the cell details. Uh, so in this case, I can see the sold date. This was recommended on December 1st. I can see the sold date of December 4th, how much the sold price for and what the current price is. And then if I want to, I can just see the moment tomorrow. So if I haven't sold this already, um, current stock price is still uh, above or near where the target sell price is. Um, so you may want to look at uh, putting a stop loss to protect your gains as an example. So this is what really a sell order or sell alert will do for you. If you again, if you've auto traded, this will still be green and by this time it's already sold off for you. So if I go back to this, I can see the other ones I have. Um, I'm gonna turn off this filter. Um, so all these are in play, but I want I have uh, more money in my account. I wanna to start to look at finding some that I wanna buy. So going back to the recommendations that are viable for today, that fit our strategy, the prep to go strategy. I can go back into filters. Um, I can look at the dates, the costs, and I wanna narrow it down. I'm gonna narrow it down by um, volume to option interest rate. So this means that there's momentum with that it's progressing, uh, other people are acting on it. And so I'm just gonna put it to 0.1, which is really, this means that uh, the volume is 10% of open interest. So we'll take a look at that. I'm gonna hit apply. And this will narrow it down to 20 for me. What you'll see here is there's uh, a whole bunch of them that may look the same, like Intel and AstraZeneca in this case. And if we go to the next one, You'll see uh, Bristol Myers Squibb and uh, Pluralsight and SAP a couple of times. What this really is, is that we present various options around strike prices and expiration dates. And as part of the prep to algorithms, we really mine. If we find a company that is expected to perform in a manner that impacts their stock price, um, we'll find various options for our subscribers to make the most out of their game in the time periods that they really want. In this case, if I want January 15th, I want something close, I can do that. If I want something further away, 
uh, for this option here, July 16th, I'm more conservative, then I can use that one as well, right? So I wanna be a little more aggressive, so I'm gonna go into the Intel and take a look at it. Uh, again, same details around Intel. Um, where is it at? My total cost. What is the, the strike price? Um, the trade cost and the volume to open rate. So I can take a look at all that, it looks good. Uh, I'm gonna like it and I'm going to flag to be bought. And then in, if I have questions about, again, buying, this is an option. Um, as you can see, it's a call. And so for options versus stock, you have a different set of learnings. And so the learnings are specific to the equity type. So if it's, a, if it's stock, I'll give you learnings that's specific to your platform and how to sell that equity type, like a buy a stock or sell a stock using limits. In this case, we have Robinhood. So in this case, it's gonna show me how to buy and sell um, options using the Robinhood platform. How to buy, how to sell using limits or trails or whatnot. So again, this is really set up for folks that are really serious traders that want to look at momentum, have a whole lot of scanning. Uh, but also for new traders that are coming in and getting educated on how to do these trades. So if I wanted to see just how many recommendations are available for me to look at that are in the prep to grow strategy or outside of that on a weekly basis, um, we understand that traders have their own strategies, day traders to new traders to different types of long option traders. So we provide a lot of uh, opportunities. So in this case, in the last or since this week, um, there's 1169 recommendations that we made that showed the companies can perform one way or the other. Uh, and we're making a recommendation based upon where uh, the arrows are telling that company's going to go. So in this case, uh, a stock means it's going to go up, calls means it's going to go up, puts means it's going to go down. So we're predicting that's going to go up or down. A uh, quick thing on status, so inactive just means that this company's near its targeted gain. So you don't want to jump into that because there's not enough room for growth. But if you look some that are not near their gain or active state, then you can look at that and jump into those that make the most sense. So from here, there's 1100 recommendations. Using the filters, um, you can really find and drive down um, recommendations that fit your option trading strategy. Again, days to gain, trade cost, uh, our success rate, time period, volumes, uh, markets, company kind of details around capitalization, quarterly revenue, earnings per share, are they in or are they near or outside of their earnings date? In this case, I doubt there's many since it's December, but there's 78 that are about to announce in the next couple of weeks. So maybe you want to play momentum or play their earnings and this allows us to allows you to find them and start to see if there's some that you want to play the momentum for so this is grow version one uh, extremely excited about this um, also this is available on mobile um, so it's mobile web responsive so you just go to the the url itself and jump in there and it has the same capabilities and there's nothing different uh, we're going to produce a mobile application in the coming months, uh, which would allow for push notifications and that kind of stuff. Um, but again, that's that's probably at least 60 to 90 days away. But this is the prep to grow uh, grow application V1. We're, again, extremely excited. This is available for all subscribers December 21st. And happy trading. Hope you enjoy this. And if you have feedback, always feel free to reach out. Take care.